This is called the deer house. Do I look like a deer in headlights right now? Because that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of look like this guy over here in the garden. So the deer house was built by an Italian stonemason in 1903. What you're going to see here is about 4,000 square feet of grand living space in the main house. Below, there's actually a bonus in-law suite. Could be for family, sure. could be for tenants, you name it. The owners have hosted so many garden parties, fundraisers, Halloween extravaganzas for, for the children of the neighborhood. It is well known to almost everybody on the hill. This one is going to be tough. I think this... You have your work cut out for you. Yes. All I right, think we let's, do. Let's That's get on the road here. OK. Wow. <laughs> you wow, know, this is quite the entry. Perhaps they should have called it the Leopard House instead of the Deer House. Yes, well, the current <laughs> owner sure does have a fun sense of style. That's true, that's true. Well, welcome to the grand salon of the house. Speaking of grand, why don't you have a seat? Oh, you and, have a baby uh, grand there. I'll, uh, I'll play you a little something. Well, thanks. So. You know, this episode is turning into Capitol Hill the Musical. Any requests? Yeah, I request that we get back to the tour. Well, this is a lovely sitting area. It is, and you know, what makes these homes so grand are the details. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you look at the dental molding above the windows, the crown molding. That crown is beautiful. It is, and I bet these floors are probably original. Yeah, and this room leads us right into this beautiful dining room. Oh, it is a beautiful dining room. Talk about historic preservation, this is it. The cabinets. Beautiful chestnut cabinets and take a look at this gorgeous mantle and this tile. I noticed the dental molding, because yep. it kind of carries through. Sure does. And look up. Look at this mm -hmm. covered ceiling. I don't think I've seen one quite like this. It's, it has a unique design to it. It sure does. Quite a room. Mm -hmm. But we need to check out this fabulous feature. Oh, you know me so How well. How about this? I love this side porch. And you feel that breeze? My mother always said that about an open air porch, that there's always a breeze. Oh, but look at this mural. Yeah, that's a custom fresco that the current owners commissioned, and it is stunning. Oh, this space is just incredible. It's epic. So here we are in the kitchen. Yes. It's great because you can have the grill right here and oh, stuck it's right nice. in. And you know what? This is just the size kitchen that I've pictured for this home. It fits the house. What I like is that they tried to match some of the historic details already in the house, yes. like the lead glass yep. and the cabinets. Yep. And I love the little deer pools have on you the doors. There's, there's little deer. There are a lot of deer throughout this house. There are. I think when you have a house called Deer House, people get probably give you lots of chachis. Oh, oh <laughs> you mean like uh, antlers? Like this? Or maybe <laughs> this guy? <laughs> <laughs> maybe just a few things. Let's continue the tour. OK, but can we look at this staircase for a minute? And this paneling. It's the same warm chestnut that they've carried through. And what a great way to lead you up to the second floor. All right. Well, this is very nice. A very spacious owner's suite. Big windows. And you know what I love about historic homes? These rooms usually have these beautiful fireplaces. Yeah. And luxury bath. Oh, and look at you love these transoms. I love a transom. Yeah. Closet. closet. Closet for you, closet yeah. for me. Walk-in closet. Yeah. And bedroom number two. Ooh, and you know what? I love the bay window. I nice, love it. nice. Right. Oh. OK, it's the second full bath on mm -hmm. this floor. Mm -hmm. Very nice. You know, they renovated it, but it still has that classic charm. It does, and I love the honeycomb tile. Oh, I do too. And here is bedroom number three. Oh, this is cute. This is a nice bedroom. Has a fireplace. I know, I love that. You know, the one thing I noticed in the owner's suite were these transoms. Yeah. And I see they're on every bedroom, and they have the dental molding that still carries throughout the house. Nice. Yeah. And these must be the stairs down to the kitchen. Yep, but we have one more floor to go. Let's go. Let's go. John's on a mission. Built in stair climber here. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> All right, bedroom number four. And they're using it as an office? Mm -hmm. nice. nice and bright. And bedroom number five. Again, another spacious bedroom. Mm -hmm. And I do like the radiators. They just add another architectural element. How charming. They are. This must be. Oh. oh it's the third full bath. That's a nice bath. Do you know what we have left in store for we us? We have a whole other level. That's right. OK, back down the steps. <laughs> oh, 
Well, this is a nice entrance. It certainly is. Well, it's hard to believe we are right below that classic home. Right, because it was so historic, and we walk into a real modern feeling space. It's a big space, so this is 1,200 square feet. This is bigger than that first alley house. We have the dining area. Nice area. OK, so this is bedroom. Number six. I'm glad you're keeping track. I'm I did lose for track. OK, so great kitchen area. Ah, it's big. Yep, nice and spacious. Updated. You have, like, even an oven, stove, full thing. Yep, you're set. All right, and this would be the main bedroom on the floor, which brings us to seven bedrooms. Last but not least. Yep, uh, the final bathroom. It's just as big as the ones upstairs. It is, it is, actually. So we've completed four levels. Yep. So how about if we go back upstairs? Sounds good. OK. Gary. Christine. You have made this guessing game so hard because I don't even know where to begin. Yeah, it's a lot of house to consider. So we have five bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. We've got about 4,000 square feet of living space in the main house. We have an additional separate unit downstairs, which is 1,200 more square feet with two bedrooms of its own and one full bath. It was built in 1903. You might want to know that in the year 2000, this house sold and broke a record. It was the first house on Capitol Hill to sell above a million dollars. And owners then renovated it to the tune of about another million dollars. All right, so what are your guesses? I'm going to say 4.7. Million. $4.7 million. OK. Gary, I'm going to go with $4.4 million. Oh. You guys did very well on this one, I must say. I'm impressed. OK, thank you. <laughs> Just so happens that Christine did better. <laughs> You're the grand yes. winner of the day. Yes, this one was so hard. I will take this win. You so can't. what is the price? $4.75 Oh, my million. gosh. Oh, oh my well, that's an amazing job. That was good. Yeah. OK, so I'm the loser again. Okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. How okay. about we go over to Eastern Market okay. and we go meet that cheesemonger? That would make me feel slightly better about this. I don't care about you. That would make me feel <laughs> even better. OK, all right. Going to the cheesemonger with the real estate monger. This is a perfect day, yeah. What a way to end. All righty, let's go. <laughs> She's lactose intolerant. <laughs> 